Good morning, everybody. We're at the gym, and we are squatting. Every life day, I always squat. It's a non-negotiable thing. I just have to barbell squat. Honestly, like, barbell squatting. I love hack squatting. I love it with all my heart. But it's not, and it is one of my, like, go-tos. But it has to be combined with a barbell squat. I don't know. I feel like barbell squats, for me, are, like, the key to leg lift. So, I've got a 45 and a 10 on there, which is 155. I'm going to squat that for hopefully 10 plus reps. That's the goal. Normally, when I have this much weight on is when I'm going lower. But as the cut keeps going and I keep getting super skinny, it is so much harder and harder and harder to squat weight. So, because my goal is hypertrophy and not muscle and not strength growth, I'm okay with the weight going down. Here's set number one. So that was like a really good set. I'm not gonna lie. I think that 155 is like my sweet spot right now to where it's like challenging, but I'm able to do it. So it's pretty good. Today's a little bit of a different leg day because I want more of a hamstring focus. So instead of my normal four sets here, I believe I'm only gonna do two. And then and then we're gonna go to a half squat to do two. And instead of doing two sets of hamstring call, we're gonna do four. I'm gonna tell you guys about this comment I got. Basically, somebody left in my comments, they said that they were unsubscribing to me because I don't show my butt. That's one thing about making fitness content that I knew would be hard is that I don't feel comfortable showing my body like that i don't want people to see my body like that it's personal it's not for youtube and i respect anybody who needs the decision to show theirs but i don't want to show mine in that way so when people get in my comments and they say that it makes me so angry because if i were to show my butt all my comments would be telling me not to it's just annoying and very frustrating because you can just kind of never roll and I get a lot of comments that are rude, and I'm like, whatever. But that comment just bothers me. It's just gross, dude. If you are subscribed to me because of that, I want you to unsubscribe right now. Click it, because you're not going to see that. Ever. Here's what I would do. Oh, So, we're either going to go to Smith Machine Hack Squat or the actual Hack Squat Machine. You guys will see when we get there. So, I know that I said I was going to Hack Squat, but I actually totally changed my mind. We're going to deadlift because I haven't deadlifted in like 300 years. It's actually been a really long time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 45 as well as a 25 so we're going to be doing 185 see how many reps in i can get with that Okay. That was a workout. So I got an eight. Now I'm like super high headed. So that wasn't too bad. The first two reps were like, oh, seriously, it wasn't that bad. I get a lot of comments asking, like, what do you want to do with this? Do you want to be healthy? look good, do bodybuilding, do powerlifting. But these are valid questions because like, why do you subscribe to me? I don't know. Wait, what's the answer? 
basically, I'm on a cut for health-related reasons. It wasn't mandated by a doctor or anything. It was mandated by me, myself, and I. I don't care about the scale number, I care, and I know it's too high right now. So the weight that I'm currently trying to get down to is 150. I'm about 174. So I have 24 more pounds-ish to go um, before I'm at my new maintenance weight. Might even be 140, but right now 150 is like, okay, we'll chill out for a little. So once I get to 150, we're going to see how well my body can maintain there. Then at that point, I would like to consider joining a powerlifting competition or bodybuilding. I don't know which one because I'm completely different, but I would like to do one of them. I think the most realistic one for me would probably be powerlifting. I do enjoy lifting heavy. I love it. And so I would say if you guys stick around long enough, probably see me do at least one powerlifting competition. Yeah. Only thing that sucks is that I don't have like a coach or anything and I don't have any friends with powerlift. So it kind of just be me and you guys. So you guys better put your coaching goggles on. Yeah. That last one burned my butt. I'm gonna take those weights off. Then we're gonna go to some machines. Alright, you guys. So we are on the hamstring, like, leg curl, hamstring curl. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So this one, basically, the about it is that you can actually assist yourself on these reps because there's a handle for assistance. So I put 235s on there. I don't know how much that is, 90 pounds or something. And we're going to see just how many I can do. Alright, you guys. Here we go. <laughs> Answered that I can't do that many reps. I think I'm gonna put the weight down. That was just embarrassing. I'm gonna take this off and put on a twenty five. That's a 10, but I don't care. What I think is interesting about these machines is they always have, always have seatbelts. Why? Why do they have seatbelts? So I'm going to show you guys one more set, and then I'm going to do the next two by myself. But if you know why these have seatbelts, please leave it in the comments. <laughs> oh. That was a lot better than um, just doing it with so much weight and like not really feeling any sort of muscle control. So yeah, that was pretty good. I need some new gym clothes for summer. This is gonna be summer soon. And all the gym clothes I own are like kind of like the winter. Can somebody please leave in the comments a brand that has cute clothes, not see-through, but light, pretty colors. You guys know that orange set that I wear sometimes? That is so see-through. I wear it because Screw it. What am I gonna do? I like it. I'm just gonna wear it anyways. Normally I just wear like light underwear underneath so that you can't see that it's see-through. It's not always an option though. So leave in the comments any brands. I, I don't expect to really see any in the comments. Let me know your favorite brand and I'm gonna do two more. So when I came over here, somebody already had the exact weight on that I wanted. They just didn't unrack it. So thank you whoever you are. And I'm going to show you guys the first set. We're going to do four of these. And basically, when I do curls or extensions, I think of going just all the way to failure, or at least super close to it. So here we go. Here's the first set. I'm probably going to opt to do single leg on the best of these. Something that I've been working on is phone addiction. Everybody has it. I don't like when people say like, oh, you know, I'm never on my phone. All of society is on my phone all the time. I am literally on my phone every second of the day. I don't like to admit it, but 
if I have free time, it's spent on my phone. Sometimes I will spend my free time in a wise way and do like a hobby, but it's not often enough. So I've been working on it. Yesterday, basically in the afternoon, I decided like, dude, I'm just putting this thing down. I put it in my pocket, didn't even look at it literally the whole day. And you know what? I had a much more productive day than usual. And to me, your productivity level is kind of based on like how much of your day did you enjoy and do the things that you care about. And I did all of my hobbies. Just I was pretending basically that I was in an era that phones didn't exist, which I guess is easy for me because I have a dog and a boyfriend. But if you like don't live with people you can talk to, it's a little hard, but you can always talk to your mom or your dad or your sibling or your dog or your cat. So here's your sign to cut that phone addiction. I think it's okay to, to consume long form media. I think that short form is like evil. I'm actually going to show you guys set number two. Jesus Christ, bending down her. On that note, I try to make my videos a little less like dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. For that reason, just to make the yeah, attention span longer, I think it's okay to like watch your phone and look at your phone, but it's the mindless like scrolling. Everybody has like favorite YouTubers, favorite content creators that they love to watch, but doing that all day and not doing it because you like these people just because it's there. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys, or I'm not going to show you guys the next two sets. I'm going to do them off camera and then I'm going to see you in the pump room. It's fun time. It's fun time. Let's do some with the jacket on. I don't know. For some reason, I like like it with the jacket. I feel like it makes my legs look bigger. Back here, definitely. So, my legs definitely have less cellulite than they used to have, which is always a plus. Legs are definitely giving more definition. They used to have like none. So seeing any is, makes me very happy. So plans for the rest of the day is to stay off my phone as much as possible. Forgot to bring my Sylvia Plath book. It's like the collected poems. Forgot to bring it. So I won't be able to do that on the Stairmaster read. Maybe I'll read a book on my phone though. Just don't like the the lights, the screen lights. I feel like it puts you in a weird trance. I'll see you guys um tomorrow. For I think it's gonna be a back day. My it actually might be a shoulders day. I think I'm gonna make it shoulders day.